Yeah, first of all, congratulations to Alabama. Uh, bottom line, they were the better team tonight. Um, you know, you look at the first quarter and we came out flat. And, uh, you can't come out flat against a team like that on the road. Uh, the first half, we really didn't do anything in all three phases to create any kind of momentum. Uh, we did have an opportunity for the touchdown that um, that we dropped. But, um, you know, in halftime, we just said, hey, let's come in. Let's get off to a good start. And if you look at the whole deal, I think uh, the explosive plays is what stands out to me. Uh, when they got inside our 40-yard line, when we got inside their 40-yard line, we kicked field goals. And um, and we got sacked, and we had a long field goal on one. But, um, you know, our guys, um, I, I told them I am proud of their fight. They kept fighting. Um, they handle themselves with character in a very tough spot. And for that, I'm very proud of our team. Uh, give Alabama credit. Um, they're, they're a very, very talented team. We knew that. Uh, but still, we, we came in here with a mindset that we wanted to win the game. But to beat a team like that on the road, you got to make plays. We didn't do that. Uh, we didn't play our best. It's obvious. And uh, I think they played very well. Questions? If you have a question, please put it in the chat. And. Also, it's being recorded broadcast quality that'll be in the SEC portal in a minute. If you have a question, just please put it in the chat. First one is from Tom Green. Gus, it seems like every time you guys got you know near the 30-yard line, the offense kind of stalled out and had to settle for a couple field goals. Uh, just what happened when you guys got in the scoring range there? Um, you know, a few times we shot ourselves in, in the foot. I um, think we went backwards a couple times, uh, had a couple opportunities. Uh, but uh, that, that's the name of the game. And, you know, when you get in, in the red zone, you got to score touchdowns uh, against the number one team in the country on, on the road. We didn't do that. And, uh, you know, that, the frustrating thing for me is we never really got close enough to apply any pressure on them. And, um, you know, they could play loose really the entire game. Next question is from Jordan Hill. Gus, we talked about Devontae Smith leading into this game, and, and he had a few big plays. That 66-yard uh, yeah. touchdown that was their first. Just yeah. how big was his play against uh, the secondary? Game? Yeah, you know, he, you know we've done really good against top receivers in, in our league, and um, they got us on a little something. We had a little miscommunication between two, two of our guys, and he busted out, you know, wide open down the middle of the field uh, for a touchdown. And he's a dynamic player. There's no doubt he did a very good job on the perimeter with some of their bubble game too, um, but. You know, we, up, up to this game, we did a good job on, on uh, main receivers. Question from Gianna Hahn. Hey, Gus, following up on that, what did you see all the other uh, Alabama players that got involved in the receiving game and how your secondary matched up with them? That, that got involved in what? In the receiving game, so the other receiver is a tight end. Yeah, yeah I mean, they got, they got talented receivers, and we knew that, you know, we had to apply pressure on the quarterback, and... A um, couple of times we were close to getting him, but you know, give him credit, he was very accurate, and um, he threw some very good balls for, you know, for explosive plays. If you have a question for Coach Miles on, if you'll list it in the I'm chat, the next question is right. Jason Caldwell. I'll be right back, guys. Um, when when you got down 14 nothing, had I guess third and three down there, were any thought process into giving yourself two downs to, to try to get a yeah. touchdown that early on? Yeah, there, there, there was. Um, we, we did think about going for it uh, there. I, I just think sometimes you just got, especially early in the game, putting points on the board, getting a little momentum. Um, that was really our thought uh, up to that point. You know, I thought our defense was doing a solid job, but yeah, there was some. There was some talk about it, but at the time, felt like the best thing to do was get points on the board. Okay, next question is from Justin Ferguson. Hey, guys, when the offense has done well these last few games, y'all been able to run the ball. Yeah. Obviously, we weren't, weren't able to do that yeah. as well today. Do you have a reason for that? And two, how much did that hurt the offense as a whole? Yeah, you're exactly right. Uh, we didn't run the football very effective. Um, and, you know, we're, we're when we run the football, we're – we're a good offense. We weren't able to do that consistently, and that was tough. I mean, we had some new guys in, but you got to give them credit. They're pretty stout up front, but uh, but that was a factor, um, you know, today. Question from Jordan Hill. Gus, this is kind of an unusual situation with the fact there's two SEC games now for you guys after the Iron Bowl. Just how important is it for this team to kind of shake this off and yeah. get ready for the next That's, that's what we talked about in the locker room. I mean, you, you got to be big boys. You got to take it like a man. Um, they got after us. They whipped us. But we've got two games left. This is an unusual season, obviously. Um, 
you know, we'll, we'll need to rebound. Our, our, you know, we'll uh, need to rebound like we did earlier in the season, and it's a grind, but that's just part of it. And uh, playing a really good team next week at home, it'll be good to get back home and then uh, try to get some of our guys healed up. Next question is from Mark Murphy. It looked like early in the game you guys didn't have very good field position. Yeah. Can you talk about that? Yeah, we, they, they got after us on special teams too. You know, uh, their, their kickoff team, um, you know, especially the first half, uh, kept us in the hole. We didn't get past the 20. Um, had some bad field position. Had a really tough, we had an explosive, like a 30 play quarterback draw that got called back that was extremely tough. And just like it felt like that first half, you know, everything was kind of uphill. Next question from Brian Matthews. Uh, yes, Coach, thank you for speaking to us. Um, wanted to ask you about Tate Bixby. How healthy was he yeah. coming in, and what does it say about his toughness that was able to Yeah, play? I mean, we had, you know, him and Bro Darius both are two guys that, you know, they practiced a little bit on Thursday. We, it was a game time decision. They showed a lot of guts and heart, and they gave it their all. But obviously, you can see Tank, he's not close to 100%. And Bro Darius, you know, wasn't able to go in the second half. But, um, and then DJ got banged up in the first quarter or two and wasn't able to return. So, um, you know, we'll need to get held up.